does it feel like to reflect on having been involved, so closely involved in those, those experiences that many of us have, have learned about in school? Quite honestly, much of the time it feels totally unbelievable. <laughs> I did that, I was there. I quite, that's what it feels like. It's very hard to believe that it really happened. Your experience with the editorial process of working with the president on, mm -hmm. on the, I can imagine, many, many speeches that were constantly in production in the yeah. White House. Talk about what that, that felt like. Well, one of my best examples is um, a speech that he was giving in, at Yale. It was a very important speech. I think it was an economic speech. I've forgotten what it was on. But he changed, he redictated major parts of the speech between New York and New Haven, which is a very short flight. And so I had all the changes in this major speech. And he was going to a very brief reception and then was going to give the speech. And I had to have it done by the time he came. I asked the Secret Service to get me a typewriter under where he was going to speak. And we were literally handing pages up. I was, but I didn't have time, thank goodness, until it was over to really get nervous about it. <laughs> Talk a little bit more about the, the lighter side of well, your experience. Well, of course, we all, I did work closely with him, so I did know him. And at some point, you get to the point that you realize he's not mad. He's not, you know, whatever's going on, or he's going to say, this is fine. He would, uh, you'd be walking by his office, and if he saw you and he had a question about something, one morning I was walking by and he was reading the paper. Everybody read the paper as much as they could and as many as they could before you got to work because he was bound to ask something. And he grabbed me and said, what is the meaning of this? I didn't have any idea what he was even looking at. And I sort of, I don't know, I made a wild guess because I'd heard some bit of news. Happily, I happened to be right. Had I been wrong, it wouldn't have bothered him in the least. He would have just laughed about it. He was just fun to be around, it really was. I think much of what is said about him and has been said about him is indeed true. He was, of course, an incredible presence. Part of it was his youth at that time, and we were used to a much older White House and a much older president. Um, so that was very exciting, and his very gorgeous family it was exciting. And uh, he was fast, funny, smart. Just, he was an amazing person to be around.